in today's investigation, we gave you a question where we only know one particular point, and that's point A. And point A is 4, 5. So that means we would move 4 to the right and 5 up, and we'll get our point A. So that's given to us, and we're also given the slope of point A. And the slope is negative 2 over 3. Because I have a negative slope, that tells me that my relationship should be falling to the right. So I know that this line should look something like this, or maybe like this, or like that. However, I know that this line will not look something like this. Okay, so we do know that it is falling to the right. So that's something to, to note. We also note the rise is negative 2, and our run is positive 3. So knowing that, if I have a rise of negative 2 and a run of positive 3, that will allow me to find some other points on this line. So if I start at point A, and I fall 2, since my rise is negative 2, I can go down 2, and then I can run 3, then my point would be right here. And that can be another point on this line. We can call him point B. If I follow this pattern again, where I fall 2 and run 3, I'll end up with a second point. We can also do the opposite. If we go back to point A, and we go 3 to the left and 2 up, so you'll notice that I've actually done the opposite here. I've used a negative run by going left and a positive rise by going up. I'll get a third point, which is right here. So quite a few different ways that we can do this. And you'll notice that we do have now a total of four points. And I can now clearly see that my line should look something like this. And even, even better, let's redo that line there. There we go. So there's our line. And this line does go on forever, so I will put the arrows on the end. And we now have three additional points to point A. It would be a good idea or a wise idea to actually indicate the coordinates of each point. So for point B, you'll notice we're at 7 along the x-axis and we're at 3 along the y-axis. For C, we're at 10 on the x-axis and we rise 1. So that would be 10 comma 1. And finally for D, we're 1 on the x-axis and we rise up, it looks like 7 on the y-axis. So we have three points, three additional points on the same line as A.